Hi everyone! Today I'm going to talk to you about comic books. I recently got into comic books last year. My boyfriend Greg and I went to our local comic book store. I don't really remember why we went. I think Greg maybe wanted to pick up a comic book. I, I can't remember. But anyway, we came home with several comic books and I fell in love. I am a huge comic book fan now and I do have several series that I am reading at the moment. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about some of my favorite comic books. The first comic book I'm gonna to talk to you about is the one that got me into comic books and that is Thor, the Goddess of Thunder. So in this comic, Thor becomes unworthy of Mjolnir and a woman picks up the hammer and becomes the new Thor, oh yeah. Lots of badass woman butt kicking happens in this comic, and it's great. Thor is my favorite Avenger, so when I saw that Thor was a woman in this comic, I had to grab it. And guys, can we take a moment to appreciate the art in this comic? Because it's beautiful. Like, look at that. Look at that beauty. Look at that amazing and awesomeness. It's incredible. I highly recommend Thor, Goddess of Thunder. It's amazing. Thor is amazing. This woman is such a badass and I love it. Thor is probably my number one comic, but my favorite comic that I'm reading at the moment is Hellcat. Hellcat was recommended to me by one of the ladies who works at our comic bookstore and when I saw the cover for the second issue, I had to get it. I honestly don't know much about Hellcat, but I absolutely love this comic. It's not very dark, it's very light and funny, and Hellcat is just amazing. She, like, I want to be Hellcat. She's amazing. Not only that, but She-Hulk is her best friend, and She-Hulk is amazing. She's so good. She's awesome. In this comic, she's working with She-Hulk as um, kind of an investigator, but She-Hulk cannot afford to keep her on, so she basically fires her. So in the comics, Hellcat is kind of <laughs> going from like job to job, and she's really horrible at all of them, but she's really great at kicking butt. She decides that she's going to start this uh, temp agency for people who have superhero abilities, but don't don't want to be superheroes. They just want to have normal jobs and lead normal lives. So that's kind of her like continuing story throughout uh, the comics so far. It's a really great comic. It's a really fun read. I also highly recommend following Kate Leth on Twitter because she's awesome. Next up on my list are two comics that I picked up randomly at our comic book store. They had like a feature shelf for this brand of comic called Emmet Comics. I don't know if I'm saying that right. right. It's E-M-E-T Comics. This brand of comics seek to empower women and I believe the majority of the writers are women, the majority of the artists are women, and the stories are about women. So like I had to pick up a couple of these comics. So these are the two that caught my eye. The first one is The Wendy Project. This is a modern day Peter Pan story and it follows Wendy. She suspects that this mysterious flying boy stole her brother but everyone else around her believes that her brother died. So she's kind of seen as crazy. The art in this is so beautiful and that's one of the reasons that I picked it up. I do love the Peter Pan story but like look at this you guys. This is beautiful. There is a second issue out but I don't have it yet. I just have the first issue but after reading it I absolutely love it so far. And the second one that I picked up is Helena Rose. So I'm just going to read what's on the back of the comic because I think it's uh, a perfect explanation of what it's about. An alien prodigy must embark on an adventure through space to find a cure for her terminal illness. I was immediately drawn to this cover because it just looks really like feminine and cute. I don't know. I just I thought it looked really great. I wasn't as big of a fan of this one as I was the Wendy Project, but I did still really like it. It follows Helena who has a terminal illness and she wants to seek adventure to find a cure. She believes that there's a cure in space for her. The artwork in this is also really beautiful. It's just like it's really, really good. There's not a second issue out yet of Helena Rose that I could see. I'm really looking forward to that because it ends on a cliffhanger. I'm going to leave a link down below for Emmett Comics. So if you're interested, please, please, please check them out. I think they're doing great work and these comics are really awesome. The next comic is one that I saw when I was at Y'all West. I went to the Women of Marvel panel and they had a screen up of all of the comics currently out by Marvel that feature women. And when I saw this cover, I was like, I gotta go get that comic. That would be Spider Woman. And look at her. She's pregnant. It's pregnant Spider Woman being kick-ass. Like how 
amazing is that? I've only read the first two issues of this series, but I really do enjoy it so far. It's a little bit slow to start, but uh, my boyfriend who has read issues three and four says that it picks up a lot in those issues. I'm just really intrigued by pregnant spider woman. That concept just blows my mind and I think that it's absolutely uh, amazing. And the last comic that I'm going to talk to you about today is Nutmeg. I kind of picked this one up at random at the comic book store because the cover looked super cute and like Nutmeg is such a cute title. I was really intrigued by it. I've only read the first issue so far and it's just a tiny bit slow to start but I think that it's going to be really great and I'm really going to like it. In the first issue we meet Cassia who has moved to uh, a new school School. She becomes from, friends with this girl named Poppy. First issue is kind of about her first day and she meets these mean girls. One of them's name is Saffron. I'm feeling a spice theme going on here, I think. I don't know a lot about the comics, but I'm really excited to keep reading. I'll let you guys know how I keep liking it. Those are all of my comics for today. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these comics or if you have any comic suggestions for me. I tend to pick up the comics that feature women. Go figure. I always thought comics for a boy thing and when I saw that there was woman Thor and Hellcat and all these awesome women I was like what? Comics are definitely for girls and they're all amazing. If you're wanting to get into comics and you're scared I suggest just going to the comic book store and looking around and seeing what grabs your eye. Comics are about art and they're also about the story but I feel like it's okay to judge a comic by its cover because if you're not intrigued by the art you're probably not going to enjoy the story as much if you're not enjoying the art that's going along with it. Reach out to an internet community, ask questions. The entire Marvel universe like scares me because there's just so much going on so don't worry about not knowing any backstory like I know nothing about Hellcat but I'm reading the Hellcat comics because I love her. You don't need to know everything about Marvel or everything about DC to start reading the comics. Just pick up one that you like, start reading it, don't worry about anything you don't know about. You can always google it or ask someone. I really encourage you to read comics especially if you're a girl. They're not just for boys, they're definitely for girls. I hope you enjoyed my video today. I hope you go out and get some comics of your own. Bye!